Welcome to All Sports YouTube channel. Sit back. Because today you will find an exciting story of Mike Tyson's revenge. Happy viewing. I think every young athlete, waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning, training to the limit of his abilities, doing truly hellish work every day for many years of his young life, dreams of representing his country at the Olympic Games. There is probably no more exciting moment in a sports career than receiving an Olympic medal at the sound of the anthem of your country. Mike Tyson also aspired to win Olympic gold. He was quite a titled amateur boxer. In 1981, he became the gold medalist at the Junior Olympic Games by defeating Joe Cortez. And in 1982, Mike again took gold at the Junior Olympic Games by defeating Ketan Brown. In the amateurs, Mike won one victory after another. But the main goal of Mike and his team in 1984 was to pass the U.S. Olympic trials in Fort Worth, Texas and getting into the Olympic team. Everything started well. Tyson easily defeated Henry Milligan. But everything suddenly changed at the moment when Henry Tillman entered the ring against Mike. Henry Tillman felt the distance very well, so it was quite difficult for Tyson to get him. However, this did not stop Mike from knocking down his opponent in the first round. In the second round, the fight was fairly even. The fact is that the evaluation criteria in amateur boxing and in professional boxing are very different. And if in professional boxing mainly dominance and power punches are evaluated, in amateurs the number of accurate hits is evaluated. I may be biased against Henry Tillman. But personally, it seems to me that even based on amateur evaluation criteria, Mike Tyson by no means lost this fight. But the referees decided otherwise, and gave the victory in this fight to Henry Tillman. Many in the boxing community understood the ambiguity of such a decision, and wishing that the best of the best represented the country at the Olympic Games, they gave Mike Tyson another chance. Despite the fact that I am a fan of Mike Tyson, this fight in my opinion was won by Tillman. Although Mike worked as the first number, Tillman outplayed him with numerous jabs. And only at the end of the third round, Mike managed to deliver a few, precise accented blows. Thus, Henry Tillman went to the Olympics where he won the gold medal, 
and Mike Tyson went to professional boxing. But by the will of fate, six years later, these two were to meet again. It was not the best time for Mike as this was the first fight since his loss to Buster Douglas. On the other hand, Mike was more motivated than ever, because, firstly, he wanted to prove to everyone that his defeat from Buster Douglas was just an accident, and secondly, he longed for revenge for the fact that he never climbed the Olympic podium. This fight started like one of those two fights six years ago. However, this time, Henry Tillman was no longer able to withstand the increased striking power of Mike Tyson several times over. And now, at the end of the first round, the deed was done. 